Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are once again in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Today I will be talking about artboards and how you can work with artboards to really make your life easier as a designer or an illustrator or even someone who's just now getting to know Adobe Illustrator. So what is an artboard? An artboard is what you see here, this white space. It is the area in which you are working on, okay? and you can change the sizes, you can add as many as you would like, you can have multiple artboards, you can rename your artboards, and I'm going to show you how to do all of that within Adobe Illustrator CS6. So the first thing that you want to notice is with CS6 they have added a feature down here. One of your tools is actually an artboard tool. By clicking shift plus the O key, you can access this, but if you just click on the artboard tool here, it will then gray out everything in the background and will be highlighting your artboards. If you go up top here, you will see all of the artboard settings, and I will go over those one by one. The first thing that you're gonna see is your presets, which is your sizes, how big they are. As you see here, you have your regular letter, legal, tabloid, your A4 through B4. Also down here, you'll see a few new ones you'll see for the iPad, the iPhone, and then some just different sizes here for like VGA and SVGA. So if you have a you know, a, a, a certain situation where you need a specific size, maybe you can go in here and change the size of your specific artboard. Also here we have a portrait or landscape mode. So obviously portrait will be like this one here, which is up and down. If I change that to landscape, it will then go from left to right. It will be a elongated artboard, but I'm going to change that back to portrait mode there. Uh, also here you'll see your little new artboard icon here. If I click on that, I will then be able to scroll down wherever I want to on my document and then just click and boom, there is a new artboard. Uh, what you will see next within the control panel is actually the name of the artboard. So you can double click here within this box and rename your artboard. So I'm going to name this test artboard here and once you do that that artboard is now forever known as the test artboard uh, also over here you'll have a few visual uh, certain situations within an artboard so if I click on on this artboard right here and I click on the show center mark which is right here if I click on show center mark if you notice right here within this artboard there is a square exactly in the center of that artboard and as a de designer where alignment is so crucial it is great to have a little alignment key there kind of to keep you uh, where you need to be when you're working within your document uh, next we have a show crosshairs if I click on the show crosshairs what that will do is it will show me a crosshair here on the bottom in the center, on the left in the center, as well as on the top in the center. And again, this is just for alignment purposes within an artboard. Next, we will see the show video safe areas. If I click on this, it will show me the different video safe areas. So if you notice the green lines here and then there's another green line on the outside, that is actually your video safe areas. So this would be like SD and then HD would be on out here. So if you're you know producing a uh, image or a text logo for video, this is great, great stuff to have. I'm going to go ahead and deselect all of that stuff there. What you can actually do over here is change the exact X and Y and, and width and height values for a specific artboard if you know the dimensions you need. Now, artboards are like anything else within Illustrator. You can actually go in here once you are in your artboard settings, and I can click on the corner down here, and I can actually make this artboard as small, just like that right there, or I can make it as large as I want. Now, once I have an artboard, I can actually take that artboard, which I have an artboard here, click on it, and hold and drag that artboard on top of another artboard. So you can move the artboards around, get them aligned the way you want them. Uh, it's pretty much like everything else within Illustrator. Now if I have created an artboard in which I do not like or I just 
created it on accident. You can delete artboards by selecting the specific artboard like I have here, and then up in the top you have a trash can which says delete artboard. I'll go ahead and click on the delete artboard now. Again, all of this is being done within the artboard settings, and if you would like to access those like I have already previously mentioned, click on the artboards tool tab which is right here. If you want to access the artboards panel just like you see right here, then you can go ahead and go to window, go all the way down to artboards and make sure there is a check mark beside it. Once you do that, you can see here all of your artboards, the name of them, as well as create new ones and delete them. So artboards are a great, great thing to be able to work with and utilize within Illustrator CS6. CS6 has made it a little easier to work with artboards, so hopefully you like the changes. Uh, guys, if you would, please, if this video helped you, go ahead and click the little like button down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will produce more videos like this as well as other tech tips. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment box below. I'll be more than happy to get to them as soon as I can. And guys, I will see you guys next time.